Several days ago, we released the Nubia 120W teardown, which was liked by lots of people. Actually, except 120W, it also has 65W and 30W models. So today, we're gonna tear down this 30W cube GAN charger to see what's inside, because it's really tiny. Let's unpack to the box firstly. The box is wrapped in dark yellow craft paper. The design is quite simple. The front is the Nubia brand logo and the product model, manufacturer, certification and other information are on the back. Open the package. There is only a charger and a manual inside. Nubia 30W scan charger adopts glossy shell design. The corners are smooth and the overall feeling is pretty good. For the white model, the top is translucent white and the lower is pure white, which is very impressive. The USB-C port is not in the center. We can see the specification of the product is printed on the input shell. The model number is PA0213 and has 5 fixed voltage gears. 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts. It is also equipped with affordable pins, which makes it have good portability with such small size. As for cube chargers, Nubia also launched a 22.5 watt cube charger previously. Let's compare them. Both chargers adopt foldable pins, and the size is also very close. Take a closer look, 30 watts is a little bit higher. And then we can compare it with the Apple 30 watts charger. This time, the size difference is very huge. Then let's measure the charger's dimensions. The height is about 33 mm, and the width is about 32 mm, and the thickness is about 32 mm. The power density is 0.86 watts per cubic centimeter. The weight is 46 grams. Let's take a look at the portable of the USB-C port. Use Charger Lab PowerZ KT002 to detect that. It can support Apple 2.4a, QC3, QC2, AFC, FCP, SCP, USB PD3, PPS, and other charging portals. In PPS mode, the maximum output is 33 watts. In addition, PDO message also shows the charger supports two sets of PPS voltage gears, 3.3 to 11 volts, 3 amp, and 3.3 to 16 volts, 2 amp. After look at every angle of this charger, we're gonna tear it down. Welcome over Mr. Sledgehammer. Just hit the charger and hit it again if it doesn't work until the product is opened. Okay, finally open it. And then let's use the electric soldering iron to remove its virus components one by one. Let's see what kind of components inside. Firstly, we can see the motherboard. There is a hollow slot in the middle of the motherboard if you take a closer look, which is used to insert this isolation board. Start from the input end. There are two metal elastic plates for contact energization and an SMD fuse behind it. This type of fuse can save internal space. A common mode choke is next to it. There is a plastic base under the common mode choke for support. An SMD bridge rectifier is on the back, which can help reduce the thickness of the entire module. And then let's take a look at the connection board. There is an I-shaped inductor and two electrolytic capacitors for high voltage filter on the front and has just been removed. 
The transformer is next to it. Benefit from the advantage of GAN switching tubes? It can significantly reduce the size of the transformer and save internal space as much as possible. Two electrolytic capacitors for high voltage filters are from Zhongyuan. There is a primary master chip on the back. South Chip SC3021D, designed for 30 watts GAN charger. The GAN power chip adapts InnoScience INN650DA04. An Everlight 1019 opto coupler across the primary and secondary used for voltage output. Here is a Trishan SMD Y capacitor. The synchronous rectifier chip comes from South Chip SC3503. Synchronous rectifier moist tube comes from China Resources Microelectronics. The fast charging particle chip is in the middle, which is also from South Chip SC2151A. This particle chip from South Chip supports external thermistor. It can protect the charger from overheating when cooperating with external thermistor. The output VBUS switch tube adopts Vanguard VS3618AE. The output filter capacitor comes from Polycaps RM series. This series is solid liquid mix type. It has the advantage of solid capacitors and liquid capacitors at the same time. So for this charger, were you interested in it? And that's all for our today's teardown. We found there were 90% of the people who watched this video hasn't subscribed. So if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to us and visit our website chargerlab.com. I'll see you the next time.